So taking the cams out is going to be very similar to um, when we put them in and we took them out the first time. We're going to get the cylinder one back to TDC. It's just another 90 degrees since this is a inline four that is flat plane. It's a flat plane engine. Um, so go ahead and get the cylinder one at dead center here. And we got it lined up perfect over here. And first we're going to have to take out the um, tensioner. Um, next, uh, we're just going to take all the caps back off like we've done before um, and get going on that. So these are all marked. You can see the R's and L's here, but I just keep them in order over here off camera just to make it a lot easier to uh, put them back in. So the reason I took this one off this way is because we can see that the valve that's being pushed is this one right now. So that's the one that's going to have the tension on it. Um, on this one, this one here is starting to be pushed and that one is. I don't think any of them technically are though. So we'll go ahead and remove this one on this side. Next, we'll go ahead and do this one here. And there we are, and that cam is ready to come out. And lastly, this one here. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and uh, take out the buckets and see what size shims we have in there. So the tool I could not do this without is this uh, just kind of stick magnet here. It makes it so much easier. Um, we'll go ahead and just start taking them all out, um, except the ones that are definitely okay. I'll just leave those in because they're definitely okay, so there's no need to take them out. This one uh, is a semi-okay one, so I'll just start taking these out and setting them over here. Usually they have a number on them, but sometimes they don't, so no worries if it doesn't. Uh, I'm just going to put the buckets back in. You don't have to do that, but it keeps me from mismatching them. I just like to put them back where they came from. So this is another semi-okay one. I'm going to go ahead and take this .25 out that's okay, um, just in case there's a better one that could go in there. And if I have it, then we'll use it. This .28 one, we won't be able to improve on it, more than likely, because the shims come in um, .05 millimeter increments. So this one doesn't even have a number on it anymore, or it's been rubbed off, so we'll have to measure that one with some micrometers or calipers or whichever you prefer. So we got a .19 that's definitely okay there, so we can leave it in. This .15 is probably okay, but again, we'll uh, take it out in case we can find a better one. Okay, we have them all out now. Okay, now that we got the shims out, it's time to look at the numbers on them and figure out what shim we need if we do need one. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start doing that. And It is super important that we do these shims regularly. Otherwise, what'll happen over time is the valve slams shut over and over again. Um, over time, the valve gets longer, basically you know just fractional of a millimeter longer but over time it can matter um, and what happens then is one of the valves starts to not seal and causes leaks that can cause different things um, it can make them hard to start especially on single cylinder bikes it can also cause exhaust to start leaking on the exhaust side which will lead to eventually a valve head popping off to which you're left with a uh, lovely Yamaha piston that looks like this um, that's the valve it bounced around in there, destroyed this engine pretty much completely. Um, luckily, I found another top end for this bike, so we can probably get it fixed. So we'll start down here with this one. We've got a, a 184. 
So we're right there, there 184. And this one we've got a, um, is it a 188? This one is a partially rubbed off, so we're gonna go ahead and measure that with some calipers. Doesn't have to be super exact for this. Um, so it looks like it's a 0.185 or 1.85 or 185. This is a 185. That one's fine. This is a 189. This is a, looks like a 188. Yeah, I think it's a 185. It's measuring a little bit less than that, but these calipers suck and they're not exactly perfect. Yes, yeah, so this one's a 188. Oops. And this one here with no markings. Yeah, so it's probably 189 also. This one is a 200. This one is a 195. This one's a 200. This one is a 195. This one is a 201. Two, 201 also. This one is a 191. This one is a 200. This one is a 200. This one is a 199. And this one is a 202. Okay, so we got them all measured now and up next is to figure out what size we need. Being that these things from Yamaha are like ten dollars each, they're a lot less through the aftermarket through like hot, sh uh, hot. What's it? So I think some of these are that brand. Hot cams, they're a lot cheaper. Um, luckily, I have the set. The um, they usually come in 0.5 increments, like I said earlier. You'll notice some of these aren't in 0.5 increments, like these 201s, 189s, 188s. These are Yamaha factory shims. Um, you can't really get them in those sizes other than out of original bikes. So we wanna calculate it in 0.5 increments. Sometimes I'll use these odd number shims just cause I have them left over and it's a lot easier that way. So we'll take this one here as an example. It's a 201 and it's a 0.11. So we know we want that to uh, close up. We, or we want the gap to be bigger so that means we need a smaller shim. You can use the um, Yamaha table here like this thing but you really don't need to because it's pretty easy but it's definitely a help so on this one we either want a so six less a 195 would put this at about we can't go to a 190 because that would put it too far it would make it like a 0.22 so we'll probably want a 195 because that'll open this up five and make it about a 0.16 in theory so point or a 195 shim We'll keep doing the same thing for these. As 0.16, it's probably gonna be okay. Um, it's a 191, so if I have something left over that's a little bit thinner, uh, probably go with one of those. So we'll say okay there, but could use like a 188, a 0.19, something like that. Uh, if we wanna open it up another four, we have four to work with. So we could go all the way down to like a, so we'll just say a point, or 188. This one, same as this one. So about a 195. This one, same as those, 195. This one, um, it needs quite a bit. To get it in spec, or in maximum spec, we need at least 13 or 0.13 more. So for this one, a 195 is not gonna do it. We're probably gonna need a 190 to a 188 also. I think a 185 would be too many because that would be, it'd be 13, which we'll put it right on. So 
a 190 might be okay there so we'll say approximately a approximately a 190. Um, this one here it's about the same but it has a 202 in it so it's a little bit bigger so for that one we can't do a 190 we need like a 191 to 195 and it's going to leave it a little bit wide i guess a 190 would be okay there too what was this one 202 so two down from that view yeah 190 view over there okay we'll just keep doing this so this one's a point one one it could use up to nine more so for this one probably about a nine more for 201 be eight so 192 is optimal of course that doesn't exist so probably have to go to 195 this one is a 0 0.13 so we could have seven more so a 190 would fit that pretty well this one we could have up to eight more it is a 200 now so ideal would be a 192 or a 195 this one is okay it could use more you could put a 190 in there um, this one's okay this one's a 0.11 so it could have up to nine more so 190 um, 191 probably a 195 exhaust we're going to do the exact same thing this one has a 189 in it and it has it measures a 0.18 but remember we want 0.21 to 0.30 on this side so for that one that's up to 12 we need to open up a 0.12 millimeter gap so we have a 189 in there now we need like a um, ideal would be a 178 I guess this one has a 185 and it's a 0.21 right now so we could have uh, nine more there that's 0.18 188 nine more there so 180 would be ideal or 180 is 79 this one 0.20 we need at least 10 more so 179 that one's okay this one's probably okay you could run a 180 in it this one so it could use seven more so 180 there would be good also um, this one here is 0.20 it needs 10 more 188 so 178 would be good this one here, if you use seven more, it has a 184 in it. So like a um, 177 would be ideal. Probably doesn't exist. So both of these are probably going to be 180s. Unless I have some of these other ones. This one's probably going to be a 180. These, uh, this one's probably going to be 180. 195, 195, 195, 195. That's probably going to be a 190 unless I have a spare 188, which I should. Um, so now we have what we basically need.